This video shows the design, build, and operation of a small and silent air compressor. It is capable of producing over 10 bar or 150 PSI and can run at low RPM to reduce noise and vibrations. Where possible, parts are designed for 3D printing to make it easy to manufacture. Feel free to skip the parts of the video you are not interested in. First, let's take a closer look at the design using the CAD model of the compressor. The construction is built around two valve heads and cylinder pipes, taken from a cheap and rather incapable car air compressor. The main parts are the motor, the compressor body, the cylinders and the valve heads. The main crankshaft is driven by a belt with a 4 to 1 reduction ratio. The crankshaft housing is using a split case designed to be 3D printable, which also makes assembly very easy. Both halves are located with 2mm dowel pins and are held together with screws. Inside you can see the two pistons in blue. For each of them an off-center ball bearing converts the rotation of the crankshaft into a linear motion with almost no friction. Special design considerations have to be made when using 3D printed parts in this section of the compressor. During operation large dynamic forces of up to 400 Newton push onto the piston and the resulting torque needs to be coupled reliably into the crankshaft. The black piston head on the top needs to be made from a gas type material and withstand higher temperatures than the rest of the device. It is thus machined from POM, a common engineering plastic. The construction and motion can be understood very well when looking at a section through the piston. Please be aware that in this model, the valve head is incompletely represented and lacks its internal components. When the crankshaft in the center turns, the piston moves up and down. Its rubber seal is designed to work with the resulting angular movement and remains gas tight. Let's pause the animation here. In the cylinder, the compressed gas pushes down on the piston. The forces are transmitted through the 3D printed piston arm onto the large off-center bearing. Another 3D printed part in its center distributes the load onto a steel pin, which is press fit into the crankshaft to transmit the resulting torque securely. Note that all 3D printed parts are loaded with compression forces only, allowing to use such a weak material in this part of the compressor. Similarly, the load path in the 3D printed compressor body is designed to take compression forces only. The downward force from the crankshaft bearing is passed to the bottom of the casing via a short path through 3D printed material. From there, 4M4 threaded steel rods transfer the load up to the valve head, closing the cycle. Last but not least, let's take a closer look at the sealing mechanism. The rubber seal fits loosely onto the piston but is in contact with the cylinder walls. On the upstroke, the rubber ring slides down, creating seal with the lower surface of the piston groove. On the downstroke, friction causes the rubber ring to lift up from the sealing surface opening a path for new air to enter the cylinder. This is a common method used in small compressors and air pumps.
As you can see, the compressor can operate at arbitrary low RPM and even works when driven by hand. It has a compression ratio above 10 to 1, enabling it to reach 10 bar or 150 psi. In each revolution about 14 milliliters of gas are compressed by the two pistons. In the background you see the brushless motor driver used to power the motor at variable speeds. Due to the belt reduction it is able to start even when pressurized. The project was motivated by the fact that available products are either very expensive, to loud, to big or do not reach the desired pressures. Even though the design is not suitable for 24-7 operation, it is a compact and handy unit for delivering compressed air at very low noise levels.